The goal of this video is to find the missing dividend or divisor when given equations with fractions. So first, a couple words of vocab. So this is the dividend. It is divided by a divisor and we get a quotient. So in these problems, we have our quotient, but we're missing either the dividend or the divisor. So these problems can look frightening, but they don't have to be. The key here is to change the problem into easier numbers that we're very familiar with. So let's take a look at the problem. Six divided by two is equal to three. So if I was trying to find the missing dividend, so a number divided by two is equal to three, what would I do to figure out that that missing number is six? I would multiply my quotient, three, by the divisor, two, and I would get six. So we're going to do the same thing with our fraction problem. So we're going to multiply our three-fourths by our two-thirds, which is our divisor. So a reminder here that we can simplify before we multiply. So the three and the three become one and one, and the two and the four share a factor of two. So this becomes one and two. So when I multiply it out, I end up with one times one is one and two times one is two. So my answer is one half. And now if I wanted to, I could go back and I can check it to make sure that that's accurate. So let's go ahead and do our check. So our check would be putting our one half into the problem. So we have one half divided by two thirds, which we know is going to be times three halves. And when I do that problem, I get three fourths. So I know that I'm correct. So here's a problem with a missing divisor. So again, let's go back to that problem that we were looking at before. So six divided by two is equal to three. So in this case, if I wanted to find that missing number, that missing divisor, what would I do? Well, I would do six divided by three or my dividend divided by my quotient and it would get me the missing divisor. So we'll do the same thing in this fraction problem. We're going to take our dividend, two thirds, and we're going to divide it by our quotient. So divide it by six eighths. To divide a fraction, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So this becomes eight over six. And again, let's go back and simplify where we can. So the two and the six share a factor of two. So this becomes one and three. And now I can multiply one times eight is eight and three times three is nine. And again, let's go back and let's do our check just to make sure that we're good. So if we had two thirds divided by eight ninths, which is going to be times, nine eighths and this is one and three this is one and four and i end up with three fourths which is the same of course if i was to double both the numerator and the denominator that's the same as six eighths so again i know that i'm correct so try this one we have a missing dividend divided by three fifths is equal to five twelfths. What's the dividend? I would multiply my divisor and my quotient. I see I can simplify the five and the five down to one and one and three and 12 simplify by sharing a factor of three. So this answer is going to be one fourth and again our check <clears throat> so the nice thing about math is that you can check your work um, if I have one fourth divided by three fifths which is the same as times five thirds I cannot simplify 
So that is going to be 5 twelfths, and I know that I was correct. Last example. So try this one where you have a missing divisor. So again, reminder from when we used um, our example of the 6 divided by a number is equal to 3, what we ended up doing was taking our dividend and dividing it by the quotient, and that's going to lead us to the divisor. So now one third times our reciprocal of five over two. I cannot simplify, so I'm going to end up with five six. And let's go back and do our check. So if I have one third times my reciprocal, uh, so six over five, and what is that going to be equal to before I get there? I can simplify the three and the six, share a factor of three, so they become one and two. And when I multiply across, one times two is two, and one times five is five, so I get two fifths, which is what it was in the original problem, so I am correct. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use an easier numbers, an easier problem, in order to find the missing dividend or divisor when you have equations with fractions.